Hi guys, hey, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Thomas Jacobson. Uh, I also go by Jake, so that may be a little bit confusing, but when we first started going to Grace, my wife introduced me as Thomas to everybody, but uh, childhood, childhood uh, nickname Jake has been with me forever, so uh, some of my friends at Grace also call me Jake. So either or, Thomas or Jake, I'm good with it. Uh, I am a part of the team that is out planning the Colorado trip in September. Um, excited to be a part of it looked at the names and man we have got a good group of people going it should be a fantastic time great uh, great environment uh, great setting uh, just a wonderful wonderful time for those of you that have been before you can attest to that if this is your first time or you haven't been in a few years uh, thank you for uh, signing up and look forward to visiting with each and every one of you Rick asked me uh, to be a part of a group. Uh, we've talked about this for several different years because once we get out there, we want everybody to enjoy the uh, hiking trip, the camping side of it, and the, the, um, the strenuous side of it. Uh, and sometimes we're not as prepared as we could be. And so we've talked about uh, different ways to make sure that we, we uh, set ourselves up for, for success. And uh, part of that is thinking ahead and doing a little bit of training. Uh, listen, I am by no means a fitness guru, uh, an expert. I won't be the fittest guy on the trip. Uh, I think that uh, where my value is, I'm just an average guy. Um, I've gone several different times. I've, I've taken some easy routes. I've taken some hard routes. And, and uh, as far as training goes, I've tried several different approaches. And I just want to be able to share with you guys some of the different things that I have found that, that has worked for me uh, that you guys might incorporate into your training. Now, as far as the training as a group goes, we can certainly do that. I want to, to uh, provide uh, uh, an environment where we can get together and kind of push each other if that's what we want to do. We'll just, I'll let you guys contact me and uh, let me know what you think. Um, but what I would like to do is a couple different things. First of all, before we even get started with uh, training, I'll tell you how I want to approach this. Video is going to work best for me. I don't want to have to type out a whole bunch of stuff and send it off and try and uh, do spell check and all that. I'm a horrible speller, so I think I feel more comfortable just kind of sharing with you some of the ideas uh, for, for activities that you could do to start preparing for the trip. Uh, one of the first things I want you to start thinking about is increasing your water uptake. No matter how fit you are, no matter how much training you've done prior to the event, if your body isn't hydrated once we get there, you have a greater chance of suffering from altitude sickness. Uh, so those are things that we can do in advance, start preparing our bodies for that. And we're four, five, six weeks out. I say start today. Uh, I, it's Sunday after church. Um, we can start drinking more and more water uh, and get ourselves up to a gallon or more a day in, in water. Uh, I like to drink a gallon of water. I gotta pee all the time, and that's just something that you gotta get used to, but your body needs to be hydrated before we get there. Uh, you can drink a bunch of water before we go on a hike, uh, and that will help to a certain extent, but you're primar primarily just gonna have a belly full of water and your body's not hydrated, so start now. Get a gallon jug and be intentional about it. Uh, get a gallon jug, fill it up the night before, put it in the refrigerator, and take it with you uh, to work or, or wherever you, you go um, during the day and drink that. Drink a gallon a day. It will seem like a heck of a lot in the beginning, but after a while, wow, your body will crave that and it's necessary. Uh, as far as training goes, there's, there's three areas that I think we will need to concentrate on, that I will concentrate on. Uh, one is the strength side. We will be hiking up mountains uh, where it's like a steep stair step. Uh, in some cases, we'll have to be down on, uh, on uh, our hands and, and to have support. Uh, you're working a lot of muscles, and three or four hours of that, muscles get tired. So there's got to be some strength involved. So I'll show you some things that I do, uh, some suggested things to help just build up some strength, not only in the legs, but in the core, in the shoulders, the back, uh, the chest, because we're going to be carrying 5, 10, 15 pounds of equipment with us as well, equipment, water, and, and such. Uh, so strength is one of those. 
the other thing that we've got to have is some endurance because we will be out on the trail um, and breathing heavy for hours. And just the idea of how many steps it takes to go three, four, seven miles, it just matters, again, what route you decide to take on this trip. But you could take, you could be out there on the trail for seven miles, and that's a lot of steps. And our body has to know what that feels like. So we can be in great uh, uh, strength shape, and we can have our lung capacities in, in shape, but if our bodies, if our joints don't know what it feels like to move those hips and knees and legs, feet, arms for seven miles, it's gonna talk back to us. So I wanna talk about a little bit about endurance uh, during our training. But the other thing is lung capacity and, and our cardio side. And there's a couple different approaches. I uh, truly believe in uh, stressing the lung capacity through um, high intensity training. And we can, we'll do some of that, or I'll suggest some of that. I'll show you what that looks like. But we can also do um, medium intensity or low intensity cardio, walking, jogging, uh, running, those types of things. All of that comes into play because all, all of those three areas, all those three areas are utilized during this trip. Again, what I'd like to do is put out some videos uh, on some of those, uh, but I'd also be more than happy if we have enough people, or if, even if one of you want to do it, uh, to meet three, four times a week, um, and just for support, go out and do our walking, running, sprinting, or, or some physical, uh, some strength training, some type of uh, activity that will prepare us for the trip. So. I'll help coordinate that. I'm really thinking about maybe Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays doing some type of uh, meeting here at my house. I live over by Southwest Junior High. I can hop on the sidewalk and we can walk and hike and run and bike all the way out to the lake uh, on sidewalks. And so it's a pretty nice little place to at least get started, um, but open to anything. Um, I'd like to do that again Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and then maybe plan some longer equipment, um, uh, us suited up with our equipment, to go on a you know, five, eight, 10 mile hike as we progress through the training process uh, on Sunday afternoon. I think it'd be fun to hang out with some of you guys uh, in that environment. Again, I am no expert, uh, but uh, I think what Rick is saying is if I can do it, and if I uh, can enjoy uh, pushing my body on, on the mountains, uh, anybody can. Uh, we've got a very diverse group going, and we've got ages, uh, various ages, and, and, um, and you know body types and levels of fitness, and the cool thing is there's something for everybody, and it's gonna be great. Uh, if you get up to the summit uh, with your buddies, uh, that's fantastic. If you get halfway there with your buddies, that's just as fantastic. So. What I want to do is, is equip us to have the body and the lungs, the, the strength, to make the trip enjoyable, uh, but we're not going to be top athletes by the time we get done training. Again, what I'll plan on doing is putting out some videos. Uh, I'll send an email out uh, when a video comes out to um, talk about some of the different techniques that I use to get in shape. If you guys have any questions or if you have any suggestions, some of the things that I'll, uh, I'll say uh, that I do, you guys may disagree with, and that's fine. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. And what I would say is um, if you don't have an idea, you can utilize mine or you can look elsewhere. But it should be fun working on this together. You can contact me. Uh, cell phone is always a good way, 785-979-3113. Uh, 785-979-3113. Or you can shoot me an email and use uh, jake at yourcsc.com. That's J-A-K-E at Y-O-U-R-C-S-C.com. Thanks, guys. This should be great.